Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and if you're new around here, we do a butt ton of beauty related content, mainly makeup tutorials, which is what you're going to see today. So today's tutorial is inspired by Winifred Sanderson, the main sister, elder sister from Hocus Pocus. And I'm doing this because Hocus Pocus 2, at the time of filming, has not been released yet. I'm not sure when this is going up, so it may already be released. I'm not quite sure, but I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of an ode to, you know, my childhood. I love Hocus Pocus. It is one of my all-time favorite movies, and I thought, how about doing three makeup looks inspired by all three sisters that maybe would be like how they would do their makeup if it was today instead of you know 300 and something years ago so this is the look I'm going to show you how to create today it is a bit out there but I really hope that you enjoy it anyway so let's get on with the tutorial to start off my eyes I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer I have done my eyebrows off camera um, but anyway I'm just blending out that concealer with a setting brush and I'm taking the Too Faced palette today and I'm starting off with that matte purple in the palette. I believe this palette is discontinued. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but I'm just taking that matte purple on a blending brush and packing that in my outer corner crease um, to make sure that every part of the um, concealer is set underneath that and then I will start blending it out. So I'm kind of leaving the inner corner free so that even though we have quite a dark smoky eye going on, it's still quite open. I'm taking this kind of muted soft pink on a smaller blending brush and just using it to blend out the edges of that matte purple and kind of dragging it up in the arch of my eyebrow so we have this elongated look. To help in the blending process, I am using this translucent face powder and a clean blending brush. I'm going in with the Cool Purple Foil Shadow on a flat brush and I'm tapping that on the lid first to, to prevent any fallout because this one does break apart quite easily. And then I will start swiping once I've laid down that color. I'm taking that all the way in um, over the lid and just leaving that inner corner free of any color but I'm really, really packing this on because I want the most vibrant version of these two shadows together. So I'll go back in between the matte purple and the foil and build and build and build. And then for my inner corner, I'm taking this soft pink foil shadow, which is my favorite out of this palette, and I'm packing it on the inner corner. And then to help that blend, I will tap out the purple foil and the light purple many times until I have a nice blend. For my eyeliner today, I decided to go a little bit out there and I'm taking this dark khaki green face paint on a lining pencil brush from Morphe and I've just created a wing with that. I'm taking this Ofra bronzer, I believe. I think it's actually an Ofra highlighter that was just too dark. My sister-in-law gave it to me years ago. <laughs> I'm using it as my bronzer today, um, just under my cheekbones, around my hairline, because my hair is up. I need to make sure I don't forget about it. And then I'm taking this Maybelline concealer just a little bit underneath my eyes. I did learn my lesson. If you use too much of it, it does dry out. And you look very, very bad under your eyes. This is the only concealer I've ever had that made my under eye area crease. Um, and then for blush, I have this old, it's kind of like a bouncy cream weird texture blush from Essence. It's probably expired. Don't come for me. I love it. And I'm just going to tap it onto my cheekbones and blend it out with my finger. And then using my blush brush to just soften any edges. And then this um, designer brand's highlighting palette and taking um, one of the shades in there as my highlighter. For lips today, I'm taking this lippy from OXX Cosmetics. It's one of the matte lippies. It's quite neutral. It's really pretty. Um, and that is the look completed. I added some false lashes onto my eyes to complete the eye look. I hope you enjoyed.
Alrighty guys, so that is it for this trailer. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. Make sure to check out the rest of my channel and all of my makeup tutorials and all of that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.